This is the first generation of Meow Meow, the cheapest way how to turn your Freestyle Libre 1 or Freestyle Libre 2 sensor into a CGM. So if you are tired of scanning your sensor, if you want your blood sugar readings sent directly to your phone, plus get alarms when your blood sugars spike or drop, and if you don't want to spend too much for it, then keep watching. And by the way, I will be giving out one of these bad boys to you for free. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom. I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. So this is Meow Meow 1. I've used it for a few weeks now and I will share with you my impressions, pros and cons, how it compares to its competitors and all that good stuff in this detailed review. Full disclosure, the manufacturer sent me one of these products for free in exchange for an honest review. And I'm not getting paid for this video, but if you use the discount link in the description below to get 10% down, then I will get a small provision. So what is the Meow Meow and how it works? Similar to other transmitters on the market, it is a plastic add-on which you place on your Freestyle Libre sensor and it sends data from the sensor every five minutes directly to an app on your phone via Bluetooth. This turns your sensor into a full-blown continuous glucose monitor and you don't need to scan anymore. You will see your blood sugar numbers 24-7 on your phone and you will receive customized alarms when your blood sugar is too high, too low, rising or dropping too fast, or when you lose connection with the transmitter. It works with all types of Freestyle Libre sensors and similar to Mio Mio 2 it uses an app called Tomato, but you can also connect it to apps like Spike or Xdrip Plus. Next I want to talk about design. And here we have a few differences between this first generation and the second generation which I reviewed a few months ago. Mio Mio 1 is a bit thicker and 2 grams heavier than Mio Mio 2. On the other hand, Meow Meow 2 is longer, so it is a bit of a trade-off right there. You could say that the design of Meow Meow 2 is more attractive than Meow Meow 1. And me personally, definitely I find Meow Meow 2 better looking. On the other hand, in my opinion, there are a few areas where Meow Meow 1 crashes Meow Meow 2. And we will get to them right here in a minute. Meow Meow 1 is water resistance at standard IP67, which means it can go 1 meter deep for half an hour, so no difference to other transmitters on the market. The delivery to Switzerland took a little bit over two weeks and the standard delivery time based on the company's website is 3 to 15 days, but it can take up to three weeks to certain countries. Now let's see what I found in the package. I got 40 of these double-sided adhesive stickers, which by the way are really good quality. In the box I find the Meow Meow transmitter and a USB charging cable. There were no installation instructions, but I will put a link in the description below that it will take you through the installation step by step and it's really easy there are no challenges there. First you need to properly charge the battery. When you connect the transmitter to the charger it will start flashing red and when the battery is fully charged a green LED lights up. I have to say that I'm really impressed with the battery life of Meow Meow 1. When I use it for the first time after the 14 day cycle I still had 80% of battery left and I was able to use it for another full sensor cycle before charging it. So in terms of battery life this bad boy is absolutely crashing Meow Meow 2 and the bubble. To charge a transmitter from zero to fully charge takes approximately two to three hours. But if you charge it every time you install a new sensor, uh, you will be done within the 60 minute, which anyway is the warm up time of the sensor. By the way, you can also charge the battery while you have the transmitter on, because the charging pins are located on the front side. If you want to charge on the go, a perfect solution is a small USB charger that you just stick in your pocket and connect it to the transmitter. If you need to restart the Meow Meow, which by the way was not the reason for me so far. The restart button is located on the back side of the transmitter, so you will have to take the transmitter off to be able to do that. Now how do you keep the Meow Meow on? Well I use these double sided stickers. I simply put them on the transmitter and stick them to my skin and to the Libre sensor which I previously applied. You see that the Meow Meow 1 sits 
kind of next to the sensor and has relatively small contact area with the sensor. On one hand this is good because you don't need to cover the ventilation spot in the middle of the sensor but on the other hand you need to make sure you place it properly because if the sensor and the transmitter are not in direct contact the transmitter would not be able to read the sensor data. And if you want to secure your Miao Miao even more, you can get an armband from the company's website. I didn't need the armband because the adhesive was really durable for me and it did not irritate my skin, so really good job there with the adhesive. Now to start getting readings and alarms on your phone, you need to download the Miao Miao's app Tomato from Apple Store or Google Play Store. You need to create an account and then connect the transmitter to the app. Now I really like the free version of the Tomato app because it has pretty much everything you need. It's just like the LibreLink app plus it has additional functions like alarms, calibration, you can connect it with Night Scout and so on. By the way if you want to know how to calibrate your CGM readings click on the video here or on the link in the description below. Now if you want to be sharing your Miao Miao readings with another person or you need some additional functions like advanced insight, online data storage and so on, you might need a premium version. The premium version costs two bucks a month, so it's not a big deal, but I haven't really used it that much. In terms of connectivity and Bluetooth reliability, I didn't have any issues, so I've been really very happy so far. Now the number one reason for me to get Miao Miao One is definitely the price, because price-wise this transmitter is simply crashing all their competitors. So here is a quick comparison of the overall price price for people living in the US including standard shipping and I calculated this price using the December 2020 foreign exchange rates. When you use my discount link Miao Miao One cost $104, BlueCon 154, Miao Miao Two 174 and Bubble 217 USD. If you are in Europe the comparison looks quite similar. Miao Miao 186, BlueCon 127, Miao Miao 2 144 and Bubble 144 euros. So what is the final verdict? Well if you are looking for budget-friendly, durable and reliable option to simplify your Freestyle Libre day to day and improve your diabetes management then Miao Miao is definitely the way to go for me. In terms of battery life and price Miao Miao One is simply crashing all the other options. If you want the smallest lightest and good looking option and you don't care that much about the battery and the price then you might want to look elsewhere. Guys I promised a giveaway so if you want to participate and win one of these bad boys then you need to like this video, subscribe to my channel and activate the alerts and share this video on your favorite social using hashtag type1talks. The giveaway is open until the end of January 2021. Don't forget there is a $10 discount link in the description and if you want to see See a video where I compare all the Miao Miao One competitors, click on the video on the screen right now. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!